So today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about farm chores. Uh, the time that it takes to do our chores varies throughout the year. Uh, it can be as short as 15 minutes a day to now, in the middle of summer, uh, it's two hours a day. So I wanted to give you a glimpse of what that looks like. Uh, take, it takes two hours a day to milk the cow and care for about 300 animals. So come with me as we uh, go around the farm and, and do our chores. We're planning on raising quite a few chickens this year, uh, meat birds, both for ourselves, for our freezer and to sell to our neighbors and friends. Um, so then here we have another batch of 100 Cornish crosses and uh, they'll stay in here for two weeks and then we'll move them out to the field. So their, their water is, is automatic. I've got a, a hose running over to a bucket that has a valve which that runs down to this water so the water is automatic so that saves a ton of time there so basically it's just filling up their feeders and um, putting new shavings down if they need it Pigs are the most excited to see me. So all of our chickens and our pigs get um, a ration of non-GMO grain from a local farm. Uh, he grows his own grain and mills it there on site. So our pigs get about, I don't know, this is probably three gallons a day, maybe two to three gallons. And then our chickens, our layers get about a five gallon bucket full every day. And so do our meat chickens. But Here's our ram. We keep him separated until uh, November. Then we'll put him back with the ewes so that we can have all of our lambs at the same time. So he's pretty easy. He's got this little small paddock to himself and I just check his water, make sure it's full. And then I'll occasionally put him over in the woods. 
just to let this paddock recover some. So here's our, our laying hens. We have about 70 black Australorps that we have had for, this is our second season and uh, they're laying really well. Um, they're super easy to have them out on pasture. I move the little chicken wagon whenever it's needed, usually twice a week or so. I'll just move it ahead a little bit and it's, it's unbelievable what the pasture looks like um, after they're gone. Like where that thing was sitting for a few days, it is unbelievable. The, the, the way it affects the grass and, and um, how green it is and lush, it's, it's definitely worth having chickens on pasture. Get some more straw. Here's our sheep. Um, we basically just use the sheep to mow or um, clean up wherever we want. So today they are um, beside our driveway. So I use this netting from Premier One and I can move them around the entire yard. Uh, I don't have to use the lawnmower, I just mow with the sheep. It's amazing what they do to the grass and how they clean it up. All the briars and the, the honeysuckles and all that stuff, they just clean it right up. So this, this chore can be time consuming some days, um, depending on where they are. I like to try to keep uh, paddocks ahead of them. And so yesterday, it probably took me about 30 to 45 minutes to set up the next three days worth of grass for the sheep. All right, here's our meat chickens. Uh, every year we raise a few meat chickens in the summer. Um, we've done as many as a couple hundred in the summer, but this year we are raising about 500. So we have five batches of 100 coming in. This is the first batch out in the field and you saw the, the second batch over in the brooder. So I um, ferment their feed every day. So uh, today I'll dump out the feed that I soaked yesterday and then I'll fill the bucket back up and um, fill it full of water and that'll be ready for tomorrow. And then we just pull the chicken tractor forward every day and give them new grass. And it's amazing to watch them uh, go after the bugs. I mean, they're, they're excited about the feed for sure, but um, a few of them kind of don't go to the feed and they're just walking around the pen looking for new bugs. Uh, So this is the same water setup as in the brooder. We've got a bucket on top of the pen. Just running over to a water, a bell water, and then I just keep the bucket full every day. Uh, one of the best things I've done on this farm 
when we, when we moved here is uh, establish water lines uh, in every pasture and so I have a, a water tank up on the hill at our highest elevation on the land and our well pump pumps up to the um, tank and then that gravity feeds back down to different areas on the farm saves a ton of time so here's our cows um, we bring them over to fresh grass every day and uh, typically after I milk the the dairy cow I bring her over and then I move them all together into the the new paddock and then in the afternoon I come back set up tomorrow's paddock and get the milk cow and take her back to the barn